For anyone who loves the cinema, this film is a real treat. It's Giuseppe Tornatore's classic Cinema Paradiso, and it's available in this lovely packaging in 4K UHD Blu-ray from Arrow Films. It's quite rare for me to get as emotionally involved in a film as I did with this one. I had succeeded in missing Cinema Paradiso during its theatrical run in 1988-89, and I'd even managed to avoid it until now. But that has turned out to be rather good fortune, because this 4K release has a 35mm look about it, and so after all these years I've finally gotten to see this beautiful film just as I would have if I'd have seen it at the cinema all those years ago. It is the story of Salvatore, a successful film director in Rome, who recalls his childhood living in Sicily, where he developed a friendship with Alfredo, the projectionist at his local village cinema. He has just received news of Alfredo's death, and the memories come flooding back. His relationship with Alfredo was that of a grandfather and grandson, and their interplay is the cornerstone of this movie. But primarily it is the performance of the young boy playing Salvatore, Toto as he is known to everyone at this time, that pulls at the heartstrings to make this film work. That boy was played by Salvatore Cascio, and he apparently lived nearby to where the film was made, and got the part because director Tornatore liked the look of him. How right he was. The camera absolutely loved him. Another vital ingredient to the success of the movie is the fabulous score by Ennio Morricone. With that added into the mix, it is no surprise that Tornatore walked away with a statuette for the Best Foreign Film Oscar that year. I don't really need to say much about this film, because the chances are that if you are watching this video, then you already have a love of the movies. And if you've already seen this film, then you no doubt love this movie. But if you haven't, you are going to love this movie. It's almost like we get a chance to live part of Toto's life. You feel like you're there in the projection booth and have the chance to play with those magical film frames that he gets to look at and sometimes keep. You understand his love for Elena when he is a teenager, and you feel the heartbreak when he is apart from her. You want him to survive and thrive, and the ending may not be what anyone expects, but it has to be one of the most emotional and successful conclusions ever to have been committed to film. Cinema Paradiso has often been described as a love letter to cinema, and as someone who grew up with a fascination and love of the cinema, and in particular those reels of film, I cannot think of a better description than that. This release comes with a 4K disc, which also contains all the extras, and a Blu-ray disc, which has an even longer version of the film, but with the only extra on that disc being the trailer to that longer version. The picture quality of the 4K is not the best you will see on 4K, but it does appear to be accurate to how the film originally looked, so the grading applied to the 4K master on behalf of Arrow Films is good. I had a quick look at the Blu-ray, and some sequences may look a little better on that, I'm not really sure, but overall the 4K is better, and remember, all our systems vary, and what looks good on mine may look even better on yours. There is evident film grain which I like to see, but as with many 4K releases, it seems to be more obvious on disc than it is on an actual film print, but I'm still trying to work out exactly why that is. Sound is DTS HD 5.1, but you have to select this as the default is the original mono sound. I ran the 5.1 and it was nice and subtle, which suited the nature of the film. I was so involved in the whole experience, though, I may not even have noticed if it had have had an over the top action film type mix. It is subtitled as it's Italian, but I found them extremely easy to follow and they did not distract from the beautiful imagery on screen. And that image ratio is 166 to 1, which was the widescreen frame size here in the UK for many years before the American preference for 185 to 1 took over. This means there are narrow black bars at the left and right, which I'm able to mask off in here, but on my television they do actually succeed in making the film look even more artistic. So there you are, just a short review of a film that I consider to be almost a masterpiece of cinema. 
if this has gone to plan then I've managed to get this shot compiled and uploaded on the very day of the first anniversary of when I've started this channel. If not then it will be soon thereafter. Whatever. Thank you to everyone who has watched anything I've done, particularly those who have liked and subscribed because without you I would not have been encouraged to keep going as I have and enjoyed the success I've had over the past few months. So thank you to everyone. I have really enjoyed being able to reach people all over the world and tell you about my love of the movies and it's been lovely to communicate with so many of you in the comments. Some of those comments have encouraged me to make ever more ambitious videos and whereas this one may not be one of the most ambitious videos I've done, I think it's the perfect title with which to say that thank you on the first anniversary of this channel. If you can, please support this beautiful release from Arrow Films which came out in 2020. I gave up waiting for it to come down in price and finally decided to pay the £25 asking price and it was worth every penny. So if you do decide to make a purchase, I don't think many people out there will be disappointed. So that brings us to the end I think. If you did enjoy this video please give it a like and perhaps consider subscribing and I'll be encouraged to create more content like this in the future, only perhaps a little more ambitious. So until the next video, bye bye for now.